with all Thanksgiving foods, there's a particular smell, aroma, feel, the nostalgia of eating those foods your whole life. And today with stuffing, dressing, whatever you'd call it, we are going to replicate that classic nostalgic taste and smell using high quality ingredients. Very simple, very basic. You just have to spend a few more dollars in the right places. So first we want the highest quality bread possible. And ideally you make it yourself, but this company Bread Alone makes a very high quality naturally fermented sourdough bread. You know, if you want to do a cornbread stuffing, definitely make your own cornbread. Uh, the other components are the aromatics and the flavorings. So we have celery, onion, parsley, and normally you do a couple of different spices, particularly sage, rosemary, thyme, but poultry seasoning or chicken seasoning has those aromatics and those flavors. So save yourself $10, $15 on spices. Just get some poultry seasoning. It's what I've been using and stuffing for the past few years. And then we're gonna use the chicken stock and the eggs uh, to give it some moisture and bind it together. Of course, we just have a little bit of salt and the vegetables will be sauteed in uh, Finlandia grass-fed butter that we do have on Frankie's free range meat. So the bread has to be dried out in the oven for about an hour. So we're gonna take all this bread out, get ourselves a baking tray, and we're just gonna tear this bread up. And this bread alone bread, guys, really, really good stuff. Uh, definitely better the day of, you know, after a day or two, it's not nearly as tasty. So I would definitely buy this, have a couple pieces, and then use the leftovers for the stuffing. And we're just gonna tear this up. The main thing I'm doing is making sure that the crust is broken up and there's no big pieces of crust in this. Now, is this step super necessary, drying the bread out in the oven? Not really. It just helps absorb a little more. And it doesn't really take extra work. It's just an hour of time. So we have our bread nicely broken up. Uh, oven set on 250 Fahrenheit. And this should take about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. Prep wise, most of the work here is going to be dicing up the celery and the onions into small enough sizes because we definitely don't want like huge chunks of them in the stuffing. So I've been dicing up this celery and you know, it's a lot of work to even get it this small. So I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put the celery and the onions in the blender with some chicken stock and we'll make some type of puree and we'll see what that comes out like. So I'm going to use about half of the celery of this one plant for our chicken stock in here. And then we'll peel four onions. Looks like we have a celery, onion, and chicken stock puree. So this goes over to a pan on high heat. Put some butter in here, and then we'll put the puree in. So we'll let this saute for 15, 20 minutes. So in the meantime, for prep work, we can butter our ceramic baking dish. We can dice up some of our parsley. I'm gonna pick off the leaves and then just chop some up. Of course, all the ingredients we're using are organic. Uh, this is flat leaf parsley. The curly parsley is usually just for decorating. So we got our parsley roughly chopped. So normally if you if you chop this up really, really tiny, which would probably take you about half an hour with a knife, you might not have that much water coming up. We definitely want to boil off all the water in this veg before we take it off the heat. Let's also get the broth and eggs ready to pour over the stuffing. And this is the mixture that's gonna really soak it and give it some moisture. A little bit of salt in there, and then two eggs. And that just gets whisked together. Our celery and onion, most of the water is out now. It should start to brown. Now towards the end of the cooking here, I'm gonna add maybe two tablespoons of that poultry seasoning. And that's gonna really aromatize it. We'll season this with a little salt as well. So the bread's been in the oven for an hour and it's really, really like hard and dried out, which is perfect for absorbing all the liquid. Celery, onion with the seasoning. Put in a little bit of chicken stock to cool this down and let it absorb some. We've got a cup of chicken stock now and then we have about two cups in there. So this I'm just gonna mix up, but more importantly, this has to cool off. So it'll probably take about 15, 20 minutes and then we can put the rest of the broth and egg mixture in there as well as the parsley. Our bread, celery, onion, butter mixture has cooled off. So now we're gonna put in the chicken broth and eggs. And guys, a lot of these measurements are really just kind of guesstimations. There, there's a big margin of error when it comes to a lot of this stuff. 
you know, even if you add a little too much liquid with the eggs, it's still going to solidify. You know, if you add a little too much seasoning, it's still going to be balanced. But, you know, roughly one loaf of bread, half a plant of celery, three onions, two sticks of butter, a couple tablespoons of seasoning, three cups of chicken stock, two eggs, and a bit of parsley. You could use some stale bread, let the bread sit a couple days before Thanksgiving, and that'll give you a firmer texture in the stuffing. So we'll mix in our parsley, and then into our ceramic dish. Oven is on 375. We're gonna pop this in the bottom part. And this should take an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. So the stuffing's been in the oven at 375 for just over an hour. Looks nice and brown on top. <sighs> Looks good. So we obviously want to serve this hot with the turkey, but you could always make this a couple days in advance and just reheat it in the oven. So before we jump into the taste, from a nutrition perspective, there's a lot of caloric energy here. We have a ton of butter that we saute the celery and the onions in. We have, you know, two eggs. We have that amount of bread, all that carbohydrate energy. So it's definitely minimally inflammatory if you're using organic ingredients. In regards to vitamins, maybe just a small amount of fat-soluble vitamins, maybe some B vitamins from the chicken stock. But overall, this is a great way to stay warm in the winter or even gain some weight. It's like nice and crispy on top and then soft underneath. This is crazy. This is insane. I thought those mashed potatoes were good. You know, the stuffing is bomb. What really makes this for me is that poultry seasoning. You know, combined with the complexity from the butter, the chicken stock. If you make the stuffing for your family with high quality ingredients, they're going to want to eat this every day. It's just so, it's so perfect. Again, the crispy bread, it's so flavorful. So if you guys combine this stuffing recipe with the turkey and gravy that I made last year, you will blow everyone out of the water. It is so, 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 so delicious and you know, you feel good after eating it because it's all quality stuff and it's not filled with chemicals. It doesn't clonk you out that much. So thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully, you know, when we have a farm full operation up and running, I could even make stuff like this for you guys on uh, Thanksgiving. You know, just cook trays and trays and trays of stuffing, pre-cooked stuff. That would be nice. Definitely, you know, a little bit of ways from that, but I could see it happening in the future. Uh, so if you guys could please just drop a like on the video, leave me a comment down below, share it on social media. And, uh, you know, I've been working really hard today. I did three cooking videos for you guys, and this is going to be the last one. So uh, hopefully you guys are going to be able to use these to uh, make a really nice and delicious Thanksgiving meal for your family. And if you have any questions about these recipes or any other recipes, definitely leave me a comment down below. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.